Welcome to Start Building Me, my nightly training session to prove to you that consistency is far more important than the intensity and duration of your workouts. My name is Dave, love to you wherever you are in the world and hope you had a good day or you're about to have a good one if you are in the UK or you should be asleep if you're in the USA. Um, yeah. Let's get going. We're going to be doing some squats and some push-ups, short and sweet. I get 50 and 50 in here. So as a benchmark, if you can do five, 10% of that, that's fine as well. If you can do double that, triple that, whatever you've got, get the blood pumping through the body, folks. That's the aim of the game. That's all I am trying to do is to get you into the habit of exercising. Folks, it is one of those things where it's recommended by various governing bodies and surgeon generals that you have to do 30 minutes of exercise every day. And that's just for your brain function alone. So really, no ifs and buts, as I always say. Everybody has an excuse. No one cares, folks. The thing about exercise is that you can't, it's pointless to have an excuse. You're only burning yourself, folks. So that's why I'm trying to give it short and sweet, get you in and out. So I can get out, record some other videos, continue on with my exercise, and keep on working on my Start Building Me site, which is going fantastic. Thank you for asking. Jazz in the house, good to see you. I am a little bit early. I was just testing the internet. I wasn't sure if it was going to load. Something's wrong with my iPhone. I'm not sure if you use iPhone, iOS, or Android. But for some reason, none of my apps are working. I restarted it. Yes, don't try and patronize me like that. I restarted it and still no love. Uh, seemingly every single app on my iPhone isn't working. I thought it was a connection issue. I tried 5G, I tried my Wi-Fi. I tried to airdrop it to another Mac device and no love. Anyway, since you're here, we can get started because it looks like it's working here, folks. And folks, even though I have done squats and I have cycled today, what is this? It's called a squat, first and foremost. Secondly, it's called exercise, and that's what we're trying to do. I'm gonna try and get 50 of these out and uh, get back to doing my dialogue. I redid my video on mandatory, and that you... Wow, that toad is very annoying. There's a cane toad directly outside my window croaking. Uh, maybe he was up breathing. I was trying to see. Might have to turn up my game. Yeah, nice try, restart, sir. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was leaning too much on my rebuild, so I started to go to the gym today. I uh, it felt good to go and press some weights, folks. I cannot stress that enough. There's something so primal about doing weights. There's something that just, you cannot uh, replace it with anything. It's really good. Uh, I don't need to tell that to so sell. Star jump, hey in the house, good evening to thee. Started back on my rear build doing weights today and it feels fantastic, folks. I love doing weights. As I always try and explain whilst doing these videos on Start Building Me, there everybody has different exercises that uh, they prefer to do, things that suit them better. For me, it's always been weights. And I'm so lean now, I was just taking some shots to do uh, after first week one. I'm going to do maybe weekly photos or monthly photos of my progress to show how quickly it happens. And um, that's what spurred it. I looked at myself and I'm like, yeah, I feel good. I feel like boxing fit and I feel uh, good for cycling, running and everything, but I just love pressing big weights and looking, having a bit more muscle mass than I've currently got now. 87, you know, is great, but I saw a picture of myself when I was boxing back in the day and um, my arms looked like my wrists now and I thought, you know what, I don't want to go back to looking like that. <laughs> so, videos to come explaining this, but my introductory series is what I'm working on now, which is you have to exercise. 
There are different exercises and diets that works. Consistency is created or cre consistency happens from repetition. You got to do this stuff every day. The Power of Habit and Keystone Habits. Read in Charles Duhigg's book, The Power of Habit, as when I explain the concept of Start Building Me to my friend, let's call him Mr. Cho. <laughs> uh, he said, read this book and I read it and it um, gave me the concept of a Keystone Habit. The Keystone Habit has always been exercise for me. And basically, uh, forming that Keystone Habit, think of an arch and you've got the Keystone, which is that top bit, holds it all together. Exercise for me has always been that thing that shows me how to do something consistent, consistently, have that repetition, get the discipline through that repetition to build the skill set, just like programming, video gaming, drawing, art, weight training, work, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like it's always going to be formed through having a keystone habit and to me, Exercise is always the easiest keystone habit because, I mean, like I said, monkeys exercise, animals exercise, and that damn cane toad's going to get a mallet in. You better run, 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 cane toad. Unleash the hounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I did squats today for the first time in years. No, that's not a green frog. What do cane, cane toads make noise, don't they? If it's a green frog, it looks like he's lucky. I like green frogs. They're too, too handsome to go mallet in. And I think they're native as well, so they technically shouldn't be malleted. Not that I would ever mallet anything, folks. I'm just joking. Hyperbole, right? All right. Green frog. Green frog it is. Take it from the Queenslander. All I know is carnage and malleting. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of this mallet talk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 in the bag. <laughs> These shorts are way too tight, but I was doing them for my before and after photos. Hopefully my phone works. Let's give it a whirl whilst I wait in between sets. Well, some of the apps are working, some aren't. Maybe it's just Strava now. Oh no, here we are, we're back in the business. Well, well, well. All right, virtual ride. Seemingly that worked. Weight training. Weight training. Hey. Keith losing it again. Not taking kindly to some neighbors out there. And why would you? They should stay the hell away from our front door. It is the graph hour after, oh, no it's not. It's not the graph hour at all. You see that? I had to check what time it is whilst live streaming at a seven o'clock night. Folks, this is a great reason to avoid drugs, alcohol, combat sports, and uh, I don't know, surfing, skateboarding, but uh, probably most likely drinking. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Felt good to do barbell squats today instead of doing, um, uh, belt squats. Very low weight, 10 kilos either side. Uh, the first time since Sal Star Jump and I were at Maroubra Gym. We were on one, we were having a great time, smashing out squats until my eyeballs basically popped out and I herniated a disc, uh, or bulge disc, can't remember. Hanging upside down, doing various stretches, which I will show when doing push-ups now, which one you can really do for your back. I've just gotten it better now, so I am not going to flare up any discs again. Hanging upside down, decompressing your spine or doing 
one of these stretches that I'll show in a sec is really good. If you are like Sully Star Jump and me and were nicknamed the Masochist by, ironically, our cousin who is no longer with us, who is by far the bigger Masochist out of all of us. 10 more, do some push-ups, get out of here, and I'll be on time for the first time in ages. Green tree frogs, air cons on. I should probably put the comp Look at him going again, he heard me. A clown's only a clown with an audience, as they say. As they say about me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, switch up to the patented crutch cam. Get some exercises out of the way. And now, first things first, get my phone out of the way. You reach under your hand. Ah, oh, that's good for your back. So it's like a push-up. And it just shows you how inflexible I am, but I do hear a good crack doing that. Ah. Anyway, spread your fingers, tense your bum, press your feet together. That is the important thing, and breathe. chill out. He's asking for it. I think he's gnawing through the outside of the wall. He'll be like biting through the green screen soon. I um, was reading funnily Enough about dopamine today. I like that old t-shirt you used to see at Ray's. Technically, you only like two things. Dopamine and serotonin. And dopamine is achieved through the activity. So it's not the result. It's not a reward. It's what you gain from doing things hard. It's the process where you, that you get it from. So the cold plunge, which is a reason... This was interesting to me. The cold plunge uh, increases your dopamine over 300% over the few hours after you've done it um, due to the pain or the stress that you put in your body through whilst you are in there freezing. Keep it PG. Freezing. <laughs> Feels good. I uh, get up, do the five second, one, two, three, four, five. Go out, feed the dogs whilst they're eating. I jump in there for 10 minutes. Sam Harris podcast, waking up. Daily meditation session, thoroughly recommended. Not a shill for Sam Harris. In fact, most people have it out for Sam Harris and want him dead for basically... Uh, saying that because people have a bigger platform now on social media that free speech isn't shouldn't really be permitted because it amplifies bad free speech and it's just like well the government and powerful entities have always got a powerful platform and they can say anything what they want so we've just really leveled the playing field so i think that's a terrible argument and he's not really known for terrible arguments so Maybe there's a gas leak in his house or lead paint or something. Definitely need to get some dry... Oh, DIY ice bath. I was like, dry ice. I'm like, man, <laughs> you really are trying to take it to the next level. This tank with CO2 blasting into it. Uh, a cold shower is fine. Because um, it will actually be colder in Sydney. 
Uh, I mean, it won't be 1.5 degrees Celsius, but a cold shower is supposed to give you the shock adequate for the same thing. Yeah, you get the wet weather up here. Yes, it's been raining all week. Apparently, maybe today or tomorrow is the last of it. We can get a bit of sun for a few days and it starts raining again. 15 minutes and they do another few. Spread the fingers, tense the cheeks. The cheeks being the butt cheeks. Thirty in the bank, twenty to go. Then I'll do rebuild day ten, which had a twenty kilometer cycle. I might do another twenty kilometer one whilst watching a TV show or a YouTube clip. Uh, rock climbing tomorrow, an hour at the gym today, pretty hard, which was awesome fun. I love the gym. Um, ice bath. Two dog walks, I uh, stonewalled freckles, the neighbor's dog, because it was sprinkling and I didn't want to, well, I was lazy. Faye doesn't care. She, she knows sometimes I can be lazy. Got stuff to do. Uh, I had lots of grip strength exercises. I've got my big kettlebells in the living room and every time I'm walking past them at the moment to hang, harden my hands, I'm just sort of farmers walking them and walking around the living room. 16 minutes, 10 more. Spread your fingers, tense your toes into the ground. Do them off your knees if you can't do them properly. I will have videos coming soon after I've done my introduction video set, which is coming decently now. I'm starting to pick up on the ketogenic diet. It's feeling a bit better, as I told my sister last night. So I had all my amino acids with my vitamins, went for a cycle, and then drank of water with lemon juice on top of it, ran to the bathroom and uh, prayed to the boss on guards. Not very smart. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't know what you got, but seventeen minutes, nice and lean. I'm out of here to do rebuild day 10 video and to continue right in uh, my video that I'm doing tomorrow, which is redoing my video for what health is and then consistency and habit and why repetition is the key to life. Love you all, have a good night, take it easy, see you tomorrow and uh, don't worry, there will be no malatin unless it's a cane toad. Have a good night.